How you doing YouTube folks? This is Dennis Norman here. Today we're going to look at how to maintain and change atomizers, etc. with your... I have the iTaste, which is the iTaste battery with the LCD screen. It's a square battery with a micro USB charge port underneath. Now with this charge port, it does have an a top it's shaped like a sort of really squashed down house so if you have a look there one top is the plug can only go in one way so just make sure that the angled shaped part is at the top when you plug it into here and then it will go into there to charge the battery I won't get into the features of the buttons they're very simple you can activate it, it will tell many how, tell you how many puffs you've had and you can also change um, the voltage from 5 volts, see there, drops down as you push it down to 4.8 5, 5 is the top what you can have or you can drop it down to 4.8 it will just lessen the um, quality of um, e-smoke or vapor that's in the air and also it can adjust the um, the throat hit etc that you get from the nicotine e-liquids now this here that we're talking about this comes off this is the K1 Aspire if you have a look on there it's got a little K1 there it says K1 and then Aspire so we just undo that in a clockwise to undo that and that reveals your battery now it's a good idea just to get the cloth and clean in the top of the battery there there's a little area there where the battery uh, connects to the atomizer tank to make the e-cigarette function so you just want to clean that out like that just get a bit of toilet paper or tissue just give that a nice little clean not too rough put that down there <clears throat> now we'll have a closer look at the Aspire K1 here this is the Aspire K1 atomizer head tank system with Pyrex glass this has a removable this is called a drip tip or mouthpiece you just remove that like so so what we'll do today is we'll change the atomizer so you turn the tank up like that no it's not going to leak out because it's a sealed system so what we do is we just unscrew that clockwise let the liquid sort of go down from there to the bottom there like that and then just undo it like this and then just carefully take that out now put your tank system down now to change the atomizer head here, you just grab a tissue on here like this and you can unscrew it like that. So, you know, I'll show you clearly how that works once I wipe the juice off it. That's the two pieces. That's the little atomizer head there, you can see there. It's a coil system inside, it has um, it has four little holes where the liquid is continually sucked into the system so you never get a dry hit like a dry sort of vape hit which you've, you get with a lot of the older systems were very very um, you know they're still developing it, the uh, best e-cigarette system and now they finally have got there so this is the piece there you can see that so you grab that and it's the sort of tall piece there see which goes to a smaller um, round section at the top and you pop that on there just gently then you screw it you can use a tissue or your fingers you just hold that top atomizer head you screw it in not too tight just till it stops it's just not just a nice little sort of light firm to make sure it's on there so I'll do that again you unscrew it like that you get your new atomizer head from out of the packet and you grab that there and with this little piece here you can see clearly it's got a little white collar 
of the new atomizer head and that smallest section there, so the two sections there, that's the atomizer tank, the atomizer head here and this is the thread piece that screws onto the bottom piece so the two shorter collars together just screw that lightly like so just give it a nice little firm twist not too too strong because you don't want to break it then you can wipe that all over with the um, tissue or toilet paper now what we do is we now we have the new atomizer on the bottom shielding piece of the K1 tank so now what we'll do is we'll fill this up with juice now you only want to fill it to a certain level it's pretty much full there if you see it's sort of about half a centimeter away from this these collar pieces where the uh, where the atomizer head see the atomizer head sits in the middle there and you've got these two metal shoulders on the edge so to fill up the juice all you do basically is you know turn it on its side slightly and you get the nibble of the juice so we'll put a tiny bit in there just to give you a demonstration you get the nib of the juice you turn the tank so the two shoulders aren't like that the two shoulders are sort of like so and then you drop the juice in there just dribble it in and then pull the juice away and that's probably about as full as you want to go you can clearly see there that it's just you know about um, five, four or five millimeters away from those two top shoulder metal pieces now we're going to get the tank and the bottom piece which we've installed the new atomizer on you pop that on like so just screw that lightly like that until so you've got to screw it, give it a good form turn, it'll give a bit of resistance but tighten it, not too tight but just until it's fairly securely on there it does have a, some rubber seals in here which seal it from leaking any of the e-liquid juice so then we've done that, we've installed the new atomizer now what is very important here is you will need to um, let the juice turn it up so it's up the correct way and we can put the mouthpiece back on that's probably a good idea to wash the e-liquid off your fingers and hands before you do any more so um, you then sit that put the drip tip back the drip tip goes back on make sure you've washed that clean of juice you can wash the drip tip to get all the juice outside and you also want to get into the habit of in see there that's just the top of the tank you just want to put a little turn the tissue into like a little point and get it in there and just clean that not too hard just nicely and clean the juice out so you get a little bit of juice on there see so you just clean that out nicely like so and we filled the tank and changed the atomizer on the K1 Aspire it's called a clearomizer tank system for electronic cigarette technology now once that's been cleaned you want to let the juice sit so you can see there up close there are little holes in that atomizer where the liquid has to soak into the, the wicking part the material of the inner atomizer now just let that sit for a good two to five minutes without touching it I'm just going to wash this mouthpiece and my hands be back in a minute give that a light just blow out on the on the drip tip this is called the drip tip or mouthpiece and you just want to make sure that's all washed the e-liquid does wash away with just cold water that's all you need to use it'll wash but don't don't ever wash this unit the actual tank this only needs to be wiped clean with either a cloth like tissue you can use a slightly damp cloth just to wipe off any excess juice especially around where we've tightened that back into the bottom of the K1 tank system clearomizer now the drip tip's been washed we can insert the drip tip has a little seal rubber seal around there we're going to look after your drip tip 
just put that back there that'll seal close like that and now we'll grab our eye taste variable voltage which is made by eye taste they're a very good battery very high quality it's rather a premium electronic cigarette battery square shaped now you just after you've maintained the tank you just want to put that back on just screw anti-clockwise I think it is or clockwise one of the two it just screws on uh, I think that's yeah, clockwise that's actually clockwise so you actually take it off anti-clockwise and you put it on clockwise so put it on just you can feel when it just starts to tighten you don't have to put it on very tightly because it has little breathing holes in the bottom there if you have look, little tiny breathing holes now they can get blocked if you have the e-cigarette in your pocket and you have lint so I found one day that I had to unblock that because it was actually blocking me from using the vape properly it has a system where it pulls air through there cooks up the e-liquid in the atomizer the e-liquid and then turns it into uh, nicotine vapor so now we'll test that out very good works very nicely now you can get the different variations of e-liquid I get them from a company called best e-cig now they indicate on the bottle with the little ticks the flavor the nicotine strength if the nicotine strength you can get none low medium high extra high super high now the milligrams for the for the labels are I think it starts at 18 milligram and then 26 milligram and 36 or 38 milligram being the super high but you don't really need it on that anything from really 8 milligram upward 16 or 18 milligram probably being the sweet spot and you get into the higher you know ratings of 26 and 36 milligram that some of the Russians and UK and Europeans use in their big vape mod uh, tank systems now that's the eye taste and the K1 Aspire and the um, atomizer has been changed uh, you do have to maintain these if you've been using it for a good day you want to just disconnect the drip tip there like so wash that under water be careful not to lose the little rubber seal that's around there so you just want to sort of pat it dry just gently and then you want to clean with the tissue in the top there like so just gently and you'll get the excess juice will come out on there and make that nice and clean and then you can pop your drip tip back and you're ready to vape again now the tightness on here just you want to do it so it's tight and it's not going to fall off there but it's not too tight it gives a little bit of breathing for this sort of um, you know assembly setup so you can test that there get some pretty good smoke rings if you're clever too bad need more practice and that's the demonstration of changing the K1 Aspire um, tank heads now the tank heads um, they come in a five pack and I'll show you what they look like This is the Aspire tank heads. They are the BBC Clearomizer replacement coil. If you are on vapeking.com.au and you're looking for these that go with the K1 Aspire tank clearomizer system, if you scroll down once you've selected to purchase the K1 tank system, you will find there are associated coils. Now the resistance of the coils range between 1.6 ohms to 1.8. I honestly think there's not a lot of difference with the different ohmages. The ohmages and battery voltage and all that sort of thing is just personal preference or a load of crap. <laughs> now it does, they do have a chart which 
associates the ohms and voltage of the electronic cigarette components but mainly with this system here it's all ready to go you just need to change the the um, atomizer thing that I changed in there you've got to change that probably every three to four weeks you'll get out of them and then you can change that after about four weeks of heavy use that is if you're only using it lightly then it'll probably last you a good month or just over a month they're the new uh, atomizer tanks in there for the K1 and they just pop out like a piece of bubble gum they're sealed new and try not to confuse your old atomizer with the new one you're putting in so when you take the old one out with the tissue or your fingers unscrew it like I showed you and then wrap it in the tissue and throw it in the bin and then grab out your new atomizer and connect it to the bottom of there like I showed you in the, earlier in the video you can go back and have a look and you'll see how I did that alright that's the D-man over and out with uh, vaping technology and the introduction to the K1 Aspire clearomizer and the iTaste variable voltage battery system thank you